Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that we can successfully boot and run Windows 11 on. Windows 10 required 2GB of RAM to work, however, in a previous video, we were able to get Windows 10 to run on 176 megabytes of RAM. This time, Microsoft has changed the minimum RAM requirement from 2GB to 4GB, although currently I'm running this VM on 2GB. Windows 11 changed a ton of minimum system requirements, so we're going to be seeing what is really the least amount of RAM that Windows 11 can function on. At the time of making this video, I am running the most current version of Windows 11, build 22,000.132. So everything seems to be running pretty well with 2 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, I didn't even really create 4. 2 gigabytes of RAM on a 10700K. So how we're going to be doing this is just simply shutting down the virtual machine, going through VMware and turning the RAM down like this. Just for now, we're going to cut it down to one gigabyte and then 512, and then we'll start going slowly down from there to see what Windows refuses to boot on. Just cutting it down to 1,024 megabytes. I'm going to assume that this is just going to boot straight out of the bat. I don't know why it wouldn't. It is taking a little bit longer to log in, but of course we've cut its RAM in half. And there we go. We are in Windows 11, and everything seems to be running pretty good. So Windows 11 does use a lot of memory, which is something I noticed from using it as my main operating system. But that's not going to stop us. Let's see if we can go cut this in half again, down to 512 megabytes. I really have no clue if this is going to boot or not. It might not. It might. I don't know. And we have booted into our desktop with 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, I just started typing in search and it disappeared. It is running really slow already. And usually at 512 megabytes, Windows still at least runs, but we are being ridiculously slow here. Search indexing has already been turned off. I didn't turn this off, it turned itself off automatically. Let's see if we can just open Task Manager here and see if this is going to load. I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very, very painful video considering it's being this slow on only 512 megabytes. I'm not sure how we got here, but our start menu, our search, and our task view, I'm not sure if what that's called, they're all clicked all at the same time. And it is, task manager isn't even responding anymore. There we go zero megabytes of ram yeah that's what we're doing here so it is so slow it can't even load there we go so we're actually using 470 480 somewhere around there we're actually using that much ram which isn't too bad i guess but it is not really ideal i would cut it in half to 256 but that really kills the fun so let's just go to let's go to 416 let's see if we went down almost 100 megabytes. I should have went down 100, but I didn't. Unlike my other videos where I try different operating systems on RAM, I don't think I'm going to open Task Manager every single time because just doing that on 512 was ridiculously painful. We're going to figure out what it won't boot on. So instead of having to open Task Manager every single time, we're just going to see if it boots to the desktop and can open the start menu because that took way too much time just to get that Task Manager to load which I mean, I kind of expected. So our desktop icons have loaded in, but our taskbar has not. <laughs> it is just a bar, there's no icons, there's no system tray. It's just there. Um, we can't right click. We can, or we could hover over icons. That's not really working right now. Uh, there's our icons, but I did click suspend. Um, this is just a mess right now. All right, so 416 megabytes were already very painful. 350. We can't do 350, so let's go 348. All right, so we just played the Windows 11 startup sound. I heard it. It is running, and I saw the login screen, but our desktop is not even there. So I don't know if I should call this quits. Let's go three. Let's go 304. I feel like that's a good number. This is the least amount of RAM. Well, not really. We haven't figured it out yet. But there is not enough memory to create a RAM disk device. So, I don't know if we can even do the recovery environment or if anything. 
we are somewhere between 340 and 304 megabytes of RAM. Can we try 332? Because we need to pinpoint exactly where this won't boot anymore. This makes Windows 11 the most RAM hungry operating system I have ever done on this channel. And let's try 226. Alright, let's try 220, not 224, that is way too low. We meant to try 324. Let's boot this up and see what we can do. So apparently we can create a RAM disk running on this. I'm not even going to wait for the desktop to load, just as soon as we see a login screen, I'm going to call that a win, because waiting for that desktop is just going to take way too long and probably not that entertaining. So let's go to 312 and see if this boots. The last one we tried was 324, this is 312. All right, so we lie somewhere in between 312 and 324. So let's just go in increments of four because we can only really try three different ones. So let's go 316 and see if it boots on this. All right, so it does in fact boot on 316 megabytes of RAM. Now, before we determine that this is the most, let's go ahead and just try 312 again. Because really, sometimes going from 316 to 312, like in my previous experiments, that has actually gotten it to boot. And just like that, it is booting on 312 megabytes of RAM. So 304 might not actually be the limit because we just booted on something that said it wouldn't boot on. So let's go down to 308. All right, it will not boot on 308, and I don't think there's really anything that we can do to fix that. So let's try and boot on 312 again. If not, we have to go to 316 and then 312, but it appears like it's booting on 312 megabytes. So with the default settings of Windows 11, we can boot 312 megabytes of RAM. It's not exactly very usable, as it is ridiculously slow, even on a 10700K with an SSD, but it boots. That is, I guess, progress. This is the most RAM-hungry operating system that I've tried for this series, and I'm not sure if that's really a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, Windows 11 is extremely responsive on my main computer, but it's impacted performance on my lower-end computers, which I guess is why Microsoft is saying that anything that's below an 8th gen Intel or a Zen 2 AMD is incompatible with Windows 11 because they simply can't run it with the fluency with they simply can't run it as smooth and as fluent as Microsoft wants it to be. So, there's that. I can kind of see why they're doing that, but I highly would not recommend even trying this because it is painfully slow and I don't have the patience to even do this. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. And with that being said, on our frozen welcome screen, I will see you all in the next one.